Greetings, fellow portal masters. Greetings, fellow Potter Masters. I'm Crash Riles, and once again, time to crash this council. Another episode of the Honesty Half Hour here on the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 30 something. I've lost track. I'm hoping it's 30 something. If not, I am terribly sorry. But I've done a lot of these episodes, and I'm going to be doing a lot of these episodes because if you don't know what the Honesty Half Hour is, well, it's a very simple concept. Now, if you don't know, all my Skylanders are put away in these tubs. Now, every single Skylar in that tub that already hasn't been done in this series is put into a random name picker. So what I do is I click pick a random name and whatever Skylar comes up, I delegate a half hour to them. Well, roughly 20 minutes of gameplay. I do five minutes for an intro, five minutes to an outro because I tend to ramble for both. And what I do is during that whole time, I play with the Skylar from that game in the game that they came from, obviously. And for 20 minutes, I do everything that I can, showing off movesets, doing different styles, everything like that, and just giving an overall definitive rating of 1 to 5. 1 being the worst, 5 being the best. Now you're saying to yourself, Crash, what Skylanders are you doing? Well, simply put, <laughs> well, I'm doing every single Skylander ever, besides for Series 2, 3, 4, Variants, and Minis. Yeah, and I randomly pick them, and that's what I do. So, I'm doing every single one, so if your favorite Skylar has not come up yet, it will be happening in the future, don't worry. We've had a lot of surprising episodes, we've had Skylars I thought would only get a 1 and end up getting a higher rating, and vice versa. So, that's one thing that's awesome about it, I think sitting down and playing with a Skylar for 20 minutes is a really good way to figure out if they're good or bad. Now, as I said, I always tend to ramble, so we're not going to waste any more time, hop into the random name picker and see who we're delegating a half hour to with right now. I'm doing this weird little... Zoom in thing. So every game still represented. We have a ton of them along with Trap Team Cores. I'm even scrolling down to the page. Today we have Night Shift. All right, so this is one scholar I could say I've done a fair play of videos with on the channel here. Night Shift, a member of the original Crash Mash and this year's Crash Mash. Um, he was part of the last lock I did before the Supercharger lock that I'm doing now. So yeah, I've got a fair share with uh, Night Shift, but as always, everything can change in the game because there may be one move I didn't use as much as the others in the other one, so who knows. So we're going to put them on the portal right now and get started in the Swap Force and see what we rate them. Ladies and gentlemen, the timer has started, and as always, I'm going to say for probably these next lot of episodes, um, right now it is very warm where I live, so if you hear any kind of noise or buzzing or anything in the background, I currently have my window open, my fan is on, which is up above, and my PlayStation is uh, very old, so it's probably going to sound like it's overheating, so I apologize for any noise in the background, but it's not going to affect the video itself. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Swap Force with Night Shift. Night Shift has all these abilities because because of the fact that um, he was in Crash Mash. So I had to have all of his care, all of it level up. And he was also part of the swap lock that I had there a little while back. So he has all of his abilities. One of my favorite things is the fact that if he gets defeated, he has two extra lives, just like with Crash Bandicoot. Um, I think it's two, two or three extra lives. So what I think we're gonna do, like we usually always do, is do the bonus missions, the arena modes, stuff like that. So we are gonna go to level select. Let's go to a Actually, he's a swapper. So, is this our first swapper? Or we've never done rattle shake? I think I'm not. I don't remember. Uh, he is teleport. Let's do a teleport one. Here we go. We're gonna do a swap zone because his swap ability is teleport. So we'll see how that one goes. Don't know if it'll do any. If it'll be good, bad, ugly, green. You know. So we'll do that one first. We'll do that. Then we'll do a bonus mission and go from there. So give him a pretty good run, in my opinion to be able to do all of his abilities. I'm not really good with the teleporting, so uh, I apologize in advance. Come on, here we go. Nailed it already. There we go. And I know uh, Duracell's probably watching, being like, you're not good with you're not good with the teleporting? Oh ho ho. You can't play his hoot loop then. Oh well. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Looks like I got all of the abilities. Oh jeez! I flew through that one! I don't think I might have got all three stars for that. Easy! Wow! So unfortunately we gotta go back to Woodboro to uh, start the new one. Okay, so his teleporting thing, so that's what his bottom is, is he teleports. So we're gonna do a bonus mission there now and just uh, try to get through that one pretty quickly there. An arena challenge. We'll probably do all three with, we got enough time, so we'll probably do all three. So we'll do a bonus mission now, and then we'll do an arena battle so we can give him a good run. Welcome back to Woodboro, hero of Cloudbreak Island. Bonus mission. Let's do choppy sauce. I think that'll be a random one to do there. So yes, as I said before, um, I did have a good, nice run with Night Shift. Night Shift was a member of Crash Mash both seasons, this current one and last season, so he did have a good little, I did get, did get to play with him a lot, and during the swap lock, I did get a good, nice few runs with him. I don't think any of his parts was defeated, too, so, oh, spoiler if you haven't seen that yet. Oopsie. I love Chompy Sauce. So, we're going to get a good feel of his abilities now, so what we're going to do right now is just try to do all of his moves and see what they feel like. Oh, we got to spin with her, right? So, um, Circle, with I'm playing on PS3 like always. Circle does a uh, a little bat that f slows down the enemies. Square is the punch ability. Square is easy one. You can hold Square to do a huge, super huge jump cut. He's really good for if I ever bring back Crash Dash, which I'm probably not. He would be really good for that too because of his uh, speed up ability here. We're gonna use the huge uppercut. BAM! Knockout! And uh, Triangle is, uh, he bites and actually takes away health. He actually takes the health from him. So you hit him with 40 damage, he, uh, he hurts him, t he gives him 20. Well, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sky, I'm gonna sky uppercut this, uh... BAM! <laughs> Easy. So the punches do a really good, a pretty good range, I gotta say with that. Um... The bite ability doesn't seem to be doing a ton. It's awesome for um, saving, for getting health, but it's not really convenient for in the battle, if that makes any sense. Because you noticed how I was getting pretty much hit all the time. We can't get in there for some apparent reason. I was getting hit pretty easily. I don't know if y'all noticed that when I was doing the, it was doing 40 damage, but every time my, um, Every time I would gain health back, it was only 20, so I would lose more than 20 each time. So here, we're going to use this the bites this time. And, oh, there's a big gap in between the two. Watch, watch. I'm press, rapidly pressing triangle. Uh, I don't know. It only does 20. It does like 40 or 60 normally. Something like that. So me doing the, um, the bites... It's keeping my health up, but it's not doing a lot. That makes any sense? I don't think it's really worth it. Fine move. Fine move. I give that, but... I don't know. That bite... It does keep my health back, so I don't lose a lot of health in the end, but... It doesn't do a lot. Alright, we'll keep that in mind for the final rank rating. Back here again. We'll do... We're just gonna do punches here now. Oh, wait, there's a... I was gonna say there's a... You know what? Come here, you. Never mind. Stop spinning. <laughs> I like that huge uppercut. The huge uppercut is great. Yep. Oh, okay. We couldn't hit him while we were dodging. Well, we took him out, though. Oh, just notice there's a... There's two of these guys. Easy. I think the other guy just defeated himself. I'll take it. Okay. So yeah, so so far the punch move, uh, that's, the punch move is kind of what everybody knows and does anyways. So that's not going to really change or affect what I already have for him, like my overall opinion. <laughs> I love that huge uppercut. That's one move I don't think I ever use. Yeah. 
But yeah, I like the range that the fists do. Like, the punches that I'm doing here, like... Like, that's some pretty good range for it. I gotta say, like, I'm not too far away. So, it's not really a ranged attack. It's still a close... Close, da close range one, but... But I can get some good damage on him, which is what I like. Ding ding! Boom! <laughs> that does so much damage, too. That huge uppercut is 160. In my opinion. That's... Well, in my opinion. That's actually what it was, dummy. In my opinion. That was so cool. I love that. And I also like... Um, so, going back to the classic bite move. We'll see here. I'll show you the bite move again. So we're gonna go up to back and hit this guy with it. So, bite move. It does 40 damage. Gives you back 20 each time. Fine move, in my opinion. But, like, the fact that you can get health so easily in this game... I can see this working for if you're caught in a bind. But, again, I'm still going to get hit. Like, he hit me in the last 30. So, I'd have to do two bites to just gain a 10, 10 health. So... When again, it's really easy to gain food in this game, especially in SWAT Force. Oh, I forgot we're timed. I totally forgot that we were timed. Ding ding, bam! Ding ding! So look, I'm not even clo I'm not even really close to that um, spell punk, and we got to actually take him out. See, so yeah, we beat that one pretty easy. That was an easy one. We got 11 minutes left. And we beat that one really easy. We, only got we technically got two stars in that one, huh? So we're going to go back to Woodboro. We're going to do an arena challenge now just so we can hang out with uh, Night Shift and get a good overall feel of his moves and stuff. We'll see how it fares in... We'll see how he fares in battle. Maybe I'll actually purposely die so I can use his ability. I just uh, went to toss the controller in my hand to completely miss, so shout it to me. Yep. She has them all, but I pretty much got them all beat, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not going to do any time tag. We're just going to go straight to an arena battle. Oh, I shouldn't... I didn't... I shouldn't have talked to him. I shouldn't have talked to him. Yeah, okay. I don't understand why they did this in this game. It's one of the things I don't like about Swap Force is unskippable cutscenes. What's this one? There's only three. I only got two stars for it. And boop. There we go. I'm just checking the time there. We have nine minutes left. It's currently 21 degrees outside. And you're saying, Crash, that's not a lot. Yeah, for you Americans. 21 degrees Celsius. For some reason, America wanted to switch it up and do Fahrenheit. Because y'all are wild. Chunky Chompers. Delicious. Okay. We're just gonna do this one. I don't know what to do to make it easier or harder. Look, so uh, the Chompies can get pretty close to me. But as you can see, I'm uh, doing pretty easy here. Oh, you see that? Okay, come on over, buddy. <laughs> Look at that, easy. I'm not getting hit at all right now, so that's really good. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So I said I might try. I might try to see die, so you can so you can see how his ability works, where he can. Uh... There we go. 
What? Incoming choppies? Oh, okay. I'm not taking any damage right now, so I'm doing the bites just to show you how it affects, really. And we're doing the uh, dodges right after, too. Like, when they're about to attack, we dodge. So, I don't like how long it takes for the bite to recharge, which makes no sense, in my opinion. Yeah, that was good. I don't understand why the bites ta the bite takes so long to recharge. It's biting. You just go... So, I don't like how long that takes to recharge. Oh, I got hit, though. I got a hit. Oh, we got a good hit on him. Okay, we're just gonna do regular punches. Yeah! Woohoo! Man, yeah, I'm doing excellent with them. Easy! Especially with the, um... With the power up there. We got an armor champion that time. Oh, they're armor chompies now. Are they not armor chompies? Is there? Is there armor chompies? No, they're something chompies. Oh yeah, there we go. The chant for night shift. Huh? I don't know if you hear that. We're doing pretty well. Okay, we're gonna do some bites now to get my health back up. See, like, the bite, you do the bite, and then you gotta wait a bit for it to recharge, kind of. See, like, I walk up to this chompy, and I'm rapidly pressing triangle so I can easily hit the chompy, but no, it won't let me do it. Look at that. That's how you do it. That wasn't even close, my dude. Wasn't even close! The stage is just about done, I agree. I don't know if we're gonna get uh, three stars on this one, but I think we're doing okay. I'm doing some good dodges. Um, I'm not doing a lot of the bites because I feel like there's no reason to do the bites. Because it takes so long for it to recharge. Oh, come on. Did you say sweet? It just ran with sweet. <laughs> oh, geez, there was another guy over there. I didn't even know it. Oh, oh, I didn't charge that up long enough. Okay. I was going to get him out of here. Okay. Oh, I can hear my PlayStation speeding up. Okay, we beat that one easy. Easy slow down there. <laughs> Easy. Woohoo! Final stage, let's go! Oh, we got the roller chompies or whatever they're called. I think this one they are. So, look, uh, so here's another thing, too. You do the bites, and the bite gives you 40 to 64 damage, right? If you get a lucky hit, I guess. Do the punches. You get 28 plus 2 every time. Look, 20, 20, 20, and then it, then it continuously hits. So, like, in my opinion, the only reason to even do the bite is to gain some health. Yeah, like, it's not uh, not enough for it to uh, warrant a uh, standalone, like, to do the bite over and over again. It's good just to get your health up. It's not good to use as just a regular move, in my opinion. Like, I'm going to be mostly using the uh, the dash ability, which freezes my enemies. So, obviously, I'm going to be doing that. And doing the bite whenever I'm low on health, which I don't happen to be low on health because his other moves are so good. You can get through them so quickly. Oh, there's a bomb. We're just going to dash with these guys because these guys jump and uh, explode themselves. So, we're just going to jump around, jump up, jump up, and get down. And make them jump on themselves. 
So you can see they're jumping on themselves. And since I slowed them down, they actually can't jump in time, so they just jump into nothing. That's how you do it! Didn't earn enough points. So that's what that was. What time is it? Two minutes? Um... I think that'll be fine. I think that's enough. We still got about two minutes left. So I don't think that's... Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Just a little bit of two minutes. I don't think there's really... There's nothing really more we can do now that'll be able to warrant enough time to actually get that. So I think the best thing to do now is to end this episode a little early. I know it's not a half hour. Shoot me. But yeah, I think we should end the episode here now and give our full rating of Night Shift and shut up Rufus. Okay, so as I said at the top of the episode, I played a Night Shift a nice few times. I did a playthrough with him while he was part of the swap lock I did a couple months, a few months ago. He's part of both Crash Matches, the first season and the current season. Um, so this episode was kind of more along the lines to see, to nitpick really, was to, I know all of his abilities, but let's see what each ability can do and what they can't do. So, let's run through all three of them. The first one with the punches. Uh, first of all, the punches do 20 plus damage every time, multiple times, super fast. It's great for close range, it's close for far range, you can hit a really good distance with it. And the Mega Punch ability, 160 damage at least each time. So, um, the only thing he's got to charge it a little bit longer, but that's nothing. That's a tiny nitpick. The second one with the dash ability. So you dash, first of all, makes you fast. Fast is good. I love fast characters. And then he shoots at that little, um, the bat thing that freezes or slows down the enemies. Another excellent move. So that's two things. His bite move is the only thing that I can actually nitpick, but it's a really good move. So first of all, it does 40 damage and takes 20% or 20 damage of that and gives it back to you as health. So it heals you. The only thing is, it takes a long time for some reason to go in between each bite. You go... <laughs> it's like you gotta wait almost like two or three seconds for it to recharge, which is weird because it would work in a situation where you're low on health, but Night Shift is so good he doesn't really lose a lot of health. And if he does, he's shot two lives ahead of him to do that. So overall, I think the only iffy thing about him is the fact that that chomp doesn't reload fast enough but here's the thing that's not enough to warn him a four out of five no 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 ladies and gentlemen night shift is getting a perfect score of five out of five stars it's a no-brainer every single one of his moveset is great as i said the only nitpick i can really do is the fact that that chomp doesn't reload but that's fine if you're low on health do the chomp to get it back up and just dodge around and then if you get defeated one of those lives is going to bring you back so then you can keep chomping and keep reviving so I gotta give Night Shift a 5. I think that is a great rating for him. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this episode of Crash... Crash? I was gonna say Crash Smash. No, buddy. Your episode's coming up soon. Or it already happened. I don't really know. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Honesty Half Hour. Let me know in the comments below what you would rate Night Shift if you were playing as him, and which Skylander you're excited to see in the future if your favorite Skylander hasn't appeared yet. Ladies and gentlemen, but as always, I bid you.